The next important step in warehouse management is to release batches of orders to the picking team so that they can start gathering orders for shipment. We call this process waving. One or multiple orders can be selected to create a wave of orders and are assigned a wave number to identify that group of orders. A good example of a wave would be to select a group of single unit orders and release them for picking. We can sort our orders by looking at orders that are allocated and ready to be picked, then filtering by number of units. Selecting the group of orders and clicking on the wave job is the first step in creating the wave. The wave dialog box that you're looking at now provides us with parameters that will change the behavior of the picking process so that we may optimize the workflow. I may want to have all of my orders pre-rated by the Excellus One ship module for small parcel shipment. As a result, a carrier label prints at the beginning of the process instead of post-picking. This behavior can be specified through changing the default end-of-line setting. A warehouse that ships Christmas tree ornaments may do most of its business in October and November. It spends the months leading up to the holidays getting ready. As a result, it needs to pick and stage orders so that when the holiday season rolls around, the orders can be shipped on time. The pack and hold function works great for this purpose. Industrial supply warehouses may get orders for branches that trickle in throughout the week. Consolidate, if possible, looks for orders that ship together and consolidates them for pick, pack, and ship. In the example that we used earlier, let's say we print all of the small parcel labels alongside pack slip labels so that I can pick, pack, and ship my single unit orders in one step. If I have a hundred of these orders, it might be convenient to print these labels in bin location sequence so that my labels are in sync with my pick path. Sorting slapper labels by bin automatically prints labels in that sequence. Many food distribution warehouses prefer to print a pick ticket to complement the RF order picking. They do this because of the various weights and sizes of products that need to be selected and not necessarily in the most efficient pick path. You wouldn't want to pick crushable eggs before massive bags of rice. You can only imagine the result. You have the option to print a number of documents with the order, including a pick ticket, that will give the picker cues as to which items should be picked to layer the pallet properly. The last set of options allow you to automatically split order picking by zone. Food distributors may have a zone for cold storage and one for dry. They can split the order between pickers assigned to those zones. Pharmaceutical distributors may have pickers assigned to a vault. As with the allocation template, the wave template can be automated to run on a scheduled basis to avoid repetitive tasks. The waving function is a core feature of Excellus One WMS, allowing the warehouse manager to flexibly change picking workflow based on order characteristics. This kind of flexibility is essential to warehouse operations so that they can get orders out the door quickly to satisfy the most demanding service level requirements.